In this video, I'll demonstrate how to apply the ABC classification method for inventory management. This question is based on problem 12.2 in your text. Here we have a company that has 10 items in inventory and the manager Theodore Barecki asks you to divide the items into ABC classifications. So we have a table here with three columns, item, annual demand, and unit cost. We have three requirements for this problem. First, to develop an ABC classification system for the 10 items. Second, to look at how the manager can use this information. And third, what happens if the manager decides to classify A2 into the A category? The first step is simply to determine the annual dollar volume for each product. So if we label the annual demand column number one and the cost column number two, the annual dollar volume is simply the demand times the cost or columns one times two. So for item A2, 3,000 units in annual demand times a $50 unit cost is 150,000. For item B8, 4,000 times 12 equals 48,000, etc. You do that for all the items and the total annual dollar volume will be a million eighty seven five hundred. Now what we want to do is classify those items. Well, ABC classification is a combination of an art and science, really. What we want to do is establish buckets of A level, B level, and C level inventory that have products with a similar annual dollar volume where possible. Looking at the data, if we start with the highest dollar volume items first, we can see that G2 at 450,000 is the highest, and the next highest is F3 at 250,000. The next highest item would be A2, but there's quite a gap there. So what we could do is leave A2 as a B-level classification and simply classify F3 and G2 as A-level inventory. Next, we want to find B-level items. If we said that A2 is a B-level item, then we want to look for the next highest annual dollar volume, and we can see that there is a large gap between A2 and the next highest, which would be C7 at 67,500 and D1 at 60,000. And then after that, the next highest annual dollar volume is B8 at 48,000, which is quite a gap. So what we'll do is we'll take A2, C7, and D1 and classify those as B-level inventory. All the rest from B8, E9, H2, I5, and J8 will combine as C-level inventory. If you want to do a quick analysis on the breakdown of those items, what we can do is put together a quick table where we can identify the percentage of annual dollar volume and the percentage of items. So for A-level items, we have two items out of 10 that comprises 20%, and the sum of the value, 250,000 plus 450,000 is 700,000. If we divide that by 1,087,500, that's 64%. So that's not quite 80-20 which is sometimes what we see with A-level inventory, where 20% of the items can represent up to 80% of the investment in inventory, or annual dollar volume. If we look at level B items, there's three of them, so that's 30%, and they sum up to 277,500, and that's a total of 26%. So for B-level items, 30% of the items contribute to 26% of the annual sales volume. The remaining C-level items, you see that there's five of them, so it's 50% of the items, but they contribute only 10% or 110,000 of the total annual sales volume. So for requirement B, we're asked how the manager can use that information. Essentially, ABC classification is used to help us manage A and B items more closely and to save ordering costs on the less important C-level items by ordering only when A or B items are being ordered from the same supplier, for example. For part C, the manager reviews the classification and decides to place item A2 in the A-level category. Why might he do that? Well, when we were working through it, we identified that there was a big gap between F3 and A2 and decided to classify A2 as a B-level item. However, because A2 is still well over $100,000 in annual sales volume, we could then classify that as an A-level inventory item as well. That would result in 30% of the items, or 3 out of 10, being classified as A-level. And when we're looking at a small sample of inventory, 30% can be put in that category if appropriate. That would then result in B-level items being 20% and C-level items still being 50% of the total items. So that's how you apply ABC classification.